The volcano is situated 25 miles from the capital Guatemala City and 10 miles from the city of Antigua, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. El Rodeo, a town which felt the full destructive force of the volcano, is almost entirely buried under ash and rock after Sunday's eruption. The death toll continues to rise as charred, ash-covered bodies are pulled out of the debris, with only a fraction of the victims identified so far. A makeshift morgue in the nearby city of Vesquinta is now being overrun with relatives searching for loved ones amongst the dead. One man, Francisco Quiche, who managed to escape with some members of his family, saw his son's body inside his home when he returned. He said, We had time to leave, thank God, but I am very sorry for the loss of my son and my daughter-in-law, my son was just 22 years old, the same as my daughter-in-law, who was expecting a baby, the first mass burial has taken place in San Juan de Latinango for two children and five adults, with some relatives fainting when they saw their loved ones for the first time, Epiel Rodeo is almost entirely buried under ash and rock after Sunday's eruption. Reuters The death toll continues to rise as charred, ash-covered bodies are pulled out of the debris. Reuters This image shows the aftermath of the pyroclastic flow the volcano erupted unexpectedly on Sunday, triggering a devastating pyroclastic flow, a fast-moving current of extremely hot gas and volcanic matter that pour down volcanic slopes at incredibly high speeds. By Monday evening, officials reported the volcanic activity was lessening and is expected to continue to diminish over the coming days. Guatemala's National Disaster Agency CONRED is advising residents to stay away from ravines and valleys where pyroclastic flows tend to spread. Late on Monday, the volcano continued spewing a dark cloud of gases and rocks. It is estimated that 1.7 million people are affected in some way by this eruption, with ash falling as far away as Guatemala City. Fuego, whose name means fire, is one of several active volcanoes out of 34 in the Central American country. This is the second time it has erupted this year, with an explosion in February sending an ash cloud hundreds of meters into the air, in addition to the number of dead. This Eruption has also injured hundreds and forced thousands from their homes, the full extent of the damage is still being uncovered, with more devastation expected to be revealed in coming days.